This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We're here at the Washington State History Museum in Tacoma. And I am joined right now by David Fisher, who is Executive Director, Broadway Center for Performing Arts. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. For those who have never been to the Broadway Center, tell us a little bit about it. How long has it been around and what is your mission? All right. Well, we are three theaters in the theater district in downtown Tacoma. And since we're in the History Museum, I should probably say that the Tacoma historian, Murray Morgan, said there were uh, theaters in Tacoma before they finished pulling out the stumps on Pacific <laughs> Avenue. So uh, our theater, the lead uh, flagship uh, of the Broadway Center is the Pantages Theater. Mm -hmm. And that was built in 1918. Wow. And it's on the National Historic Registry, as is the Rialto Theater, the sister theater just up the street, also built in 1918. So these two theaters were uh, core to uh, this district that has been uh, vibrant part of the community for 90 years. And they've survived all this time. Well, they have. Uh, they've, of course, had their ups and downs, but in the uh, uh, early 80s, uh, Congressman Norm Dix and many other community leaders came forward to help re-energize uh, downtown Tacoma. Uh, using the arts as uh, that leverage point. And so they revitalized the Pantages, then revitalized the Rialto Theater. And then in 1993, they built Theater on the Square, which is our third hall. And it's a great uh, performing arts center because uh, we sort of have the uh, uh, Papa Bear uh, Pantages size, which is about 1,200 seats, the Rialto uh, at 730, and then Theater on the Square, very intimate at 300 seats. So we get to mix it up and do a lot of different programs. Uh, in there. Speaking of programs, um, they have changed somewhat, more diverse, uh, not sure how to put my finger on it, sure. so I'll let you do that, All but right. they have changed. Well, we have, you know, uh, we rebuilt the organization pretty much from scratch. It's a public-private partnership, so the city owns the buildings, and they've been a phenomenal partner on the public side, and on the private side, we are a private nonprofit that manages the facilities for the city. So we wanted to make sure that with these uh, publicly owned assets, they were really being activated and really being uh, relevant to the uh, South Sound community. So we spent in 2006 really a whole year reimagining and re-envisioning what uh, these facilities look like, how they're used, and how they serve the community overall. So. Since then, uh, we've seen our programs uh, more than double. We've seen our budget almost triple uh, wow. during that time. A lot of the programs were sort of like a, an iceberg. What is above the water is what the community sees the most of, and that's our public events. And we do about 50 events a year. That's everything from uh, Queen Latifah to uh, Garrison Keeler mm -hmm. to uh, even small shows like uh, we just did uh, Molly Mason and Jay Unger, so great bluegrass artists, mm -hmm. for instance. So when we talk about diversity, we talk about trying to mirror this South Sound community, which is an incredibly, wonderfully diverse community. What shows up on our stage reflects this community, and we're really proud of that. You all have a very unique fundraising program. Tell us about that. We do. Uh, we're doing the largest uh, fundraising raffle in Washington State history uh, right now. So we are uh, have the opportunity to raffle off a dream home. So the Tacoma Dream Home Raffle. We'll see on June 26, which is the final drawing date, uh, someone have the chance to win uh, this dream home, which is a beautiful uh, condominium from commencement condominiums overlooking uh, the Puget Sound and overlooking Vashon Island and the Olympic Mountains in oh, the background. Wow. It's a stunning, stunning view. So if someone wants to buy If somebody wants to buy a, a ticket, ticket, they can go to our website, learn all about the Broadway Center, all about the shows and how to buy uh, one of these tickets. When they buy a ticket, they're $99. But you get immediately, you win, because you get $350 worth of coupons back uh, that you can use for hotel nights or uh, jewelry or wine and a whole bunch of things like that. It's a great program, so you can win this condo. You can win up to $600,000 cash, or depending upon how many tickets we sell, a minimum of $25,000. So it's a pretty good return. And then lots of other uh, prizes along the and way. And I'm going to have to stop you, you there. Betcha. Thank you so much, <laughs> David Fisher, Executive Director of Broadway Center for Performing Arts. Thank thanks. you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.